down for double view and be sweet. I'm Sean Schultz with Asia Cop and Brad Wake, and we're joined by J.C. Sheldon, who should be Rookie of the Year. The heck with that Caitlin Clark girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How are you doing today, J.C.? I'm good. How are you guys? Great. All so, right. so far, so far, so good. Yeah. Number one question fans want to know: Has Emmy adjusted to getting rid of the red jerseys and the Ohio stuff and gone to <laughs> Dallas Blue? Yeah, she has. She has pretty well. I didn't know how that was going to go, but um, no, she did. She did it quick. Um, obviously, Ohio State um, will always be home for her, but she loves Dallas. She Every time she sees me, she's like, when we go into Texas. So she's adjusted a little bit, um, got a new jersey, and, and she's been able to get to a couple games. So she's loving it. Is it a JC jersey or like an Enrique one? I know. It's a me jersey <laughs> right now. Well, we'll keep, I don't know. As the season goes on, we'll see. <laughs> I hope she gives Coach Trammell coaching tips, too. <laughs> she got to meet her um at a, at Washington. They came to DC, so they coach finally got to meet Emmy, and Emmy finally got to meet Coach. So that was cool. I love that about going to the Ohio games, just seeing the passion she had and how she got all the fans going. Oh yeah. Um, I asked you a question at a presser at the beginning of the year about how the resources the team provided to help you adjust uh, to rookie year. How has that played out? And just can you tell us a little bit more about how they've helped you acclimate to a new city and a new life. Yeah, they they did. Honestly, they made things very easy for me. Um, you know, even before training camp started, they shipped the car down here. They got me got me a new place to stay right away. Um, got me into the gym, got me a car to get in the gym and made it made it easy for me, honestly. So very thankful that they made that transition um, that much more simple. And then obviously being here now, um, it's carried over and, and they're open to helping me whenever whenever I may have questions. But I mean, this place is home to me now. Um, not not a stranger to this gym anymore. Able to be in here multiple times a day. It's awesome, and and um, I have them to thank for that. So it's been it's been a very nice transition. What's the best part about the city of Dallas? I don't even know if I can. I mean, the wings, right? But I don't even know if I can fully answer that yet. I, we haven't had – I personally haven't had many time, much time to explore. Other than Arlington, I haven't even been down to the city of Dallas. Um, I went to one Mavs game. It was awesome. But that's the only time I've been in the city, so – um, yeah, I got to figure that out for you guys. <laughs> Recently, you got some very special recognition. You were named the Ohio State Athletics Athlete of the Year. Can you speak to what that means to you? Yeah, that that means so much. Um, like I said, that place is home and that place has done so much for me um, that they, they don't even know probably. So very thankful um, to get that award and um, be recognized, but even more thankful th for the people I met through Ohio State and the relationships I was able to build. Um, it's a great program. I'm excited to see what they do, you know, this coming year. Um, got a talented team, but uh, overall very thankful. And and like I said, even more thankful for those relationships I was able to build. And as far as the wings, there have unfortunately been some injuries as players are going to be coming back pretty soon. Can you speak to what it's been like playing with the likes of Monique and others, you know, players who are there, but just may not be there. Like what's that kind of um, chemistry like? Like you said, um, we've experienced a lot of injuries, a lot of illnesses throughout this season. Um, working through it, we're going to have people back pretty soon here, which will be nice. But um, being able to play with, like you said, you mentioned Mo. Mo Mo's a great leader, a great person, and and someone who's so vocal on the floor. So I've I've learned a lot from her. I think we've we've been good for each other. Um, but me, you know, being a rookie, just being able to learn from her and her experience has been awesome. Um, and like you mentioned, even even some of the other players, we've got O here now, and we're so excited. Uh, she's a competitor, man, so I'm I'm excited to take the floor with her and even learn from her too. So I think um, taking everything I can from them and. And making them better as well is been a focus, and it's been really fun, really fun for me. I know that um, it's a completely different world transitioning from college to WNBA. What has been the toughest thing for you to adjust from college to, you know, the WNBA world now? Geez, the biggest adjustment, I'd say, not not so much the um, 
the game itself, the way it's played. I think college, um, the pace was a little quicker and, and here it's just as quick and you have people who are just as athletic and maybe a little taller, a little stronger. So I think the physicality for sure is something that um, took a little time to get adjusted to. But um, like I said, every game I'm getting more comfortable and, and feeling more comfortable out there. So it's been fun to kind of learn through that experience. What is, you know, what is something that you guys like to do off the court, you know, to kind of bond as a team and have a little bit of yeah. fun? Like, guys do like TikToks together, go to dinner together. You know? uh, some, yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, of course, some of us do TikToks. I am not one of those people. Yeah. Uh, not a TikTok person, but um, the heat, man, we take advantage of the Texas, the Texas heat. We go to the pool a lot um, on our on our off days and sometimes even after practice, if we, we just need a rest. Um, we got a really nice pool at our apartment complex. So a lot of us will just go down there and hang out. Um, that's probably our go to. <laughs> Been very vocal about how important the fans are to the wings especially with this little slump now being on the court can you speak to that fan involvement and how it just picks you guys up yeah that's our sixth man um that we love our fans and and i've only been here a little little bit of time but these fans are awesome um they've been very supportive since you know my first day even in dallas and i think that um, we feel them when we're on the court. Absolutely. When things are going well. And even when things aren't going well out there, they pick us up. And I think um, just making sure they know how thankful we are for them and, and sticking with us through, you know, not only the ups, but the downs that come with that, too. And I think um, we need to go out and get a couple wins for them, which we will. But um, we, like I said, Dallas fans are awesome. They've been amazing. Um, and then I, I can't wait to get to know them even better. I'm only here for only been here for a short amount of time. So getting more comfortable with them and getting to know them better has been awesome. Uh, what's the best thing about um, working with Coach Trammell? Like, uh, is there anything specific? Like, is she hard on y'all all the time? Because she looks pretty tough. Yes, and I love that, to be honest. I think that's that's what creates great players, and that's how, that's how you learn. That's how you get better. So she's been awesome, just pushing us in every aspect of the game, and not just offensively, but defensively, too. She loves the defensive end of the, the ball, and I've learned so much um, just already in my short amount of time I've been here. Um, and just been able to kind of take my game to another level in that aspect of just giving it 100% effort, you know, on the defensive end of the ball, too. So that's been fun. And 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 she's awesome. Like you said, she's tough on us, but she shows us love, too. And I think that's, that's really important as a coach. So she's awesome. You've gotten uh, – all you players have gotten. What about your teammates as far as the vets like Tasha, Rike, uh, Maddie? She's not a vet, but it's her second year. Like, what have they meant to you? in helping you adjust and look forward to your team's future? Oh, yeah, so much. Um, having people like like you mentioned, like Rick and, and uh, Natasha behind you and telling you to shoot it and telling you to be aggressive, that that's a different type of, you know, feedback. I think having them tell me that, I'm like, all right, well, I better be more aggressive and I better shoot it. So they've been awesome. And and as far as ever since I got here, just making sure I'm, I know what's going on. I know the plays. Uh, I know how we like to do things. And done a great job of teaching me that and like I said continuing to stay on me in times of you know whether it's tell me to be more aggressive whether it's tell me to be in the right spot and and guiding me in that aspect and you mentioned Maddie too and she's been a great mentor too for me because she's a year ahead of me so she's been through this rookie year and and um navigated through it so she's been awesome checks in on me all the time she's she's back in New York right now but um still touching base with me every day so we're excited excited to get her back soon thank you so much uh, for joining us we yeah, we know the wings are going to turn around and uh, call them a dark horse, call them a shoe-in, whatever it is, you're <laughs> going to be a contender. Absolutely. Thank you, yeah. guys.